drama divas and drama dudes welcome back to Christine Does Drama so Dr Phil staged an intervention yesterday in Atlanta for Nick Gordon now Nick Gordon is the boyfriend of Bobby Christina Whitley Houston and Bobby Brown's daughter who's currently in a hospital in a coma following an incident in a bathtub where apparently she drowns and um, they're just desperately still trying to save her she's still in hospital and uh, Nick Gordon has been tweeting kind of erratically about the situation apparently he's been banned from um, visiting the hospital and he thought that he was seeing Dr Phil to share his side of the story but really in fact he was actually there for some sort of intervention uh, about his mental health and well-being so let me break down the story for you Nick Gordon, the boyfriend of Bobby Christina Brown, has gone into rehab following a dramatic intervention by Dr. Phil. Amid scenes of high emotion, Gordon repeatedly broke down and ranted incoherently and threatened to kill himself if anything happened to Bobby Christina. Dr. Phil said that Gordon would be dead within a week if he's left to his own devices. Dr. Phil flew to Atlanta yesterday on Bobby Christina's birthday after friends and family of Gordon begged him to intervene as the 25 year old's mental state spiralled out of control. Gordon believed he was meeting Dr. Phil to conduct an interview after feeling that he was being publicly vilified. Instead, he found his mother, Michelle and Dr. Phil united in their mission to save his life. So I want to start off by saying that I'm a fan of trashy TV shows. I watch them all, you name it, Steve Wilkos, Maury, um, Jeremy Kyle, I watch them all. But I have, I have a problem with Dr. Phil, I just, I do. I don't, I think it's because he claims to have all these degrees and um, he's a doctor and yet he's here exploiting a situation for ratings, taking advantage of someone. He, he must know as a doctor, as someone who's in the medical profession, that this isn't helping. If I was Nick Gordon, I would walk out as well. Like, why are you um, filming him in his most vulnerable position? His girlfriend, who he's clearly in love with, is is going through an emotional hell right now. She could not, she might not make it. And the sad case of this situation is when the camera stopped rolling, that's it. They're, they're not going to help. They're not going to be there. What if Nick had something to do with Bobby Christina's death? Do you think that, do you think that Dr. Phil's going to help him through that situation? It's all for ratings. And I, fair enough, you might say to me, Christine, well, he's a businessman. That's what he does. I mean, yes, he's a doctor and his business is a, it's a show about ratings, but say that then. It's an entertainment show. Don't sit there with a glassy eyed expression, no compassion in your eyes, no empathy, just sitting there watching this guy freak out in the most, his most vulnerable position and, and not do, and just film him for ratings. As a doctor, as someone in the medical profession, I just think this is just sloppy. It's kind of like emotional porn with the dramatic music and you've got this guy, Dick Gordon, like crying, saying he's gonna kill himself and you've got Dr. Phil there all in his smart suit and sitting there like, you know, like some sort of authority figure and watching this guy freak out with the cameras. And it's to me, I I think there's a reason why Dr. Phil isn't aired here in the UK. I just, I can't, I just, I, I just find him to be just not very relatable and it's even down to the fact when he walks off stage at the end with his wife uh, after every episode of, of Dr. Phil he walks off stage with his wife and I remember this episode that I watched um because I was really had emotional connection with the um, Cleveland captive story those three girls who were held in um, captive for 10 years and um, you had that um, girl called Michelle um she I bought her book I was um she was there on Dr. Phil um, and he left her on stage by herself to walk off stage with his wife at the end of a show like he does out, out, no, out of every show. And I thought to myself, why are you doing that? Like, is it so important to you to walk off stage and preserve your um, show than to sit with the, a victim just to the end of the show and just to leave her there? I just, I don't know. To me, that felt really like, it just proved to me just how much of attention like he wants. Uh, I could give you so many examples. The time went with Lindsay Lohan's mum, when Lindsay Lohan's mum was clearly just not ready for an interview and she was there, she was all kind of whacked out and he's there just belittling her, making her look even smaller. You've got JL from America's Next Top Model when she was on the sh um, show and her family did an intervention and he was like, I have never 
ever left the studio to go and follow someone who's run out on, on me and he's gone there and he sits down outside with JL and she's all like has the effect of meth on her face I don't want to rant on about this too much but it's just not the time and the place to do this and as a medical profession professional I just don't buy Dr Phil at all so guys let me know what you think about this whole story do you agree with what I'm saying about Dr Phil if you don't if you do make sure you leave your comments and subscribe to my channel and like this video because I do hot topics every single week and I will see you soon drama divas and dudes <laughs>